When we use the word broken, we mean it in the sense as a constitutional democracy. An immigration system should respond to the will of the public through Congress. Our Constitution sets out parameters and says Congress decides how many people come, who are they going to be, what are those rules, and at some level how they should be enforced. We have ceded, if you will, uh, the decisions on who comes to this country to the immigrants themselves, to foreign despots who want to drive what might be their political opposition out of their countries to this one. We've ceded our political control to major multinationals who seek to reduce labor costs through immigration. We've ceded political control to political party leaders who want to use immigration to expand their political power base. We've ceded it, if you will, to the nepotistic system of chain migration, whereby the vast majority of immigrants are selected not on the basis of what they can do for this country, but who they know, did they have a relative who came earlier. The nepotistic chain migration phenomenon creates long backlogs that go on for years, which in a sense create a momentum that's impossible for the American people to intervene and, and break in order to redesign the selection criteria. We want to do the right thing. In deciding immigration policy, sometimes the right thing is not what seems on its face to be the most obvious thing. The average Mexican national moving here just across the border increases his or her actuarial income stream by maybe 50%, 150%. More than that even, just by moving across the border. The value added that labor is providing doesn't cover the cost to provide education for the kids, housing, uh, English is a second language, you know, meals for the kids, uh, supplemental SSI, disability for the parents who come in, the elderly parents. It doesn't make economic sense. We are subsidizing, as all the states that are most highly impacted in this country now see in this economically tough period, we are subsidizing corporations that are wanting to use imported immigrant labor. We don't want to suggest that there isn't always going to be a place for people who have extraordinary talent and ability. If we don't get them, somebody else will. We should compete for the world's best and the brightest. Immigration controls is really, I mean, everybody agrees that is a federal responsibility. So obviously states should not be making their own immigration policies, deciding who gets to come and who doesn't. Clearly that's not constitutional. It's vital, it's critical that states participate in the immigration debate in this country and that they do whatever they can to both set up cooperative agreements with the federal government try to put pressure on the federal government to do the job it's constitutionally required to do.